Daily practice and oh. how you were drawn to materials and how maybe what the different materials bring out of, of you. Well, you know, I, I uh, because I'm, I'm sort of a conceptual artist and it comes from my ideas uh, and the, the material kind of is a second, is, is whatever makes it work um, is how I work generally. But, but when, when a material is presented to me, uh, and I work with artisans who really understand it with their, in their hands. The works come out, uh, it's like, a, it's not a collaboration, but it's this wonderful kind of um, camaraderie in making things because what I end up making is something that they feel like they love making. And so they, I get their best work, even though it's not what they would make, but actually it's something that their, their body likes to make. And so we have this wonderful, it's always a great experience with people. And so I, I come up with ideas for different materials. Like I, ha I have this strong idea to work with, well, no, I won't talk about that, but work with certain materials in certain contexts. Like I'm going back to Paris, I wanted to do something in France. But I, if I don't find the right people to sort of, who sort of have it in their, their soul to, to make this sort of thing, um, it doesn't happen. So um, I come up with things but this, the, the whole situation has to be right to, to, for it to really... Is there an example of it not being right, that you had to walk away? Well, lots of things, uh -huh. lots of things. I mean, not particularly artisans that I don't... But, I don't know how to put it. Um, it it's, it's, you know, like an artist, uh, generally artists, uh, traditional, you have your palette of all the colors you want to work with, and you have access to all of it. Well, then you can make it. But if you have this idea, and you can't get that that particular blue, you know, it's going to be different, or you don't do it, you know, or you figure out something else. But in general, it's kind of like that. It's kind of like I, I I need the right palette, and if I don't have all the things, then it can't really happen. And I have a funny story. I did a project in Poland right after the uh, right after the Soviets left, and I wanted to paint the walls. Um, I wanted to paint the walls red or deep red in this museum. It was a museum project, and I. I, I talked to people in the museum about this, and um, I went to a shop. Uh, like a, it was really a new, new, new country, and the, the phone book was about this big, really tiny, uh, because it was just so new. And so I went to the store, and I was looking at all the paint. I didn't see where the red paint was, so I, I, uh, I, I asked the guy at the shop, uh, you know, I would like red paint. He says, um, "Oh, we don't have red paint, but we have blue," and you know, so it didn't quite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's how that's what they had to do at that time. But blue was not going to be red. You know, there's no way you can make it red. So, so uh, it's kind of like that. If it, everything has to be. You know, my studio, which is in my mind, has to sort of all be right. Connect in that way. And 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 of course, when I'm doing things in other countries, it has to be. It has to go along with where I am. I mean, it's, I'm completely in the moment. Right. right. With it, the place, the people, and that's when the, the work really flows.